Athlete Network, how you guys doing? This is Coach Julius Hodge here at Little Rock. I want to give you all a tour of our locker room, all right? So, obviously, this is Little Rock's team. You know, we have a photo up there of past teams. We have some of our uniforms from this past season, black, maroon, and white. Uh, can't wait to get our guys back here on campus. This area right here, this wall, we're actually working on this locker room to update it. We're going to knock it out over the summer. So we're going to have a really huge players area where our guys can come chill out. We're going to put a couple more sofas, sofas, some bigger televisions. Our guys can just chill and have some fun. All right, coming over here. Now this right here is really special to us. Uh, before we actually get into our locker room, this is uh, what we call our Jordan wall. Now, everyone doesn't get this wall. Only a select few. Uh, Coach Walker actually had to make a personal call to MJ, Mr. Michael Jordan himself, who's a good pal of his, uh, and, and basically uh, put in a bid so that we can get this wall right here. So here you have some uh, special selected retros, and, and this is our Michael Jordan wall. And only a few teams have it, like I was saying previously. You know, obviously, uh, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, uh, Oklahoma, uh, Michigan, to name a few, and, and now Little Rock. What are your favorite pairs of Jordans? My favorite pair of Jordans are the original. Uh, I just watched the, the Air movie, actually, uh, the other day. So me and my wife, uh, I love the ones. What are some common shoe choices for the players? Uh, our guys, man, they, they have all different types. Uh, all the Jordan retros, I mean, we, we get all the gear and uh, our guys, they, they either wear some of those or they'll wear some Kyrie's or um, some KD's or some Zion's. I mean, we, we have everything. So these guys get too much gear, in my opinion, uh, but uh, it's, it's a good thing. All right, so walking over here, here's our locker room. Uh, one, not even one year old, uh, brand new knock locker room. Everything in here, Coach Walker handpicked himself. Uh, so when you look in, in terms of in the locker room, we have some gear up here, some of the sneakers our guys get, uh, uh, sweatsuit right there, some shorts, some gear, see the sneakers. Uh, again, these guys get way too much gear, all right? They don't need this much, but uh, we make sure we take care of our guys they're very comfortable. Uh, they're in a place with a, a brand new locker room, state of the art. And uh, we do a lot of our, uh, our stuff in there in terms of watching film and, and speaking with the guys uh, post, during, and after the game. Can you talk about the discipline, defense, and dedication we see on the walls right here? Yeah, so uh, Coach Walker is definitely a coach that's gonna be defensive oriented. So we have to make sure we're doing that. You have to be dedicated to your craft, not just on the court, but most importantly, off the court and in life. These young men get here and that their parents want to make sure that they're taken care of and we're making sure that we're preparing them for life. And then when you look at discipline, you have to be disciplined in everything you do. So you have to, you, if you show up on time, you're late. You have to get here early. If you're early, you're on time. And if you're on time, you're late. Guys get here early, you have to get the work done, get the job done, make sure you finish the job be completely uh, depleted when you're finished with practice or watching film, and then you go on with the rest of your day. You know, we're, we're not gonna micromanage the rest of your day. We wanna make sure you have fun, but you wanna get the work done while you're here. What players on the team usually have a dirty locker, or always have stuff everywhere, plenty of shoes? What are some guys that are kind of tough to be around in the locker room? I'm not gonna throw any of our guys under the bus like that, all right, I know. I'm not gonna say about the dirty locker room, but I will say whenever we walk in here and it's, it's not up to the standards, we, we walk out and we say, you guys got two minutes and you make sure um, you, you get things done in here because we don't like the way it's looking and we walk back in and it's spotless. So I, I would lead with that and say, our guys make sure the locker room is right when we walk in here and we're ready to get to work. Who on the team has a pivotal role playing locker room music to get them ready for practice, big games, so on and so forth? Uh, D.A. Uh, D. Anthony, uh, he, he's our guy. He's going to be, uh, he's been our eldest statesman. Uh, he's he's the, the oldest. And when whenever he wants to listen to music or any type of music, uh, it, it's on him. You know, it's his call. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you for the tour, Coach. We appreciate it. Appreciate you.